Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Hero Build series. I am Silfin. In today's video, we are taking a look at Kwong, in a build that I call the Amsaja. So what does that stand for? That simply stands for assassin in, um, in Korean. So that is what we're going for. High assassin deck here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, it's going to be quite something. Now, I don't really know if it's the best option for me because the enemy team has a whole bunch of damage. It really is quite crazy. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we uh, do an okay job here. We're going to go for a health pot, a strike token, and uh, two, two strike tokens, sorry, in, uh, in the beginning here, and then go solo lane. So here in this right lane here, we are going up against Bellica, and it's going to be rough. We're going to try our best to stay alive here, make some stuff happen, but it's going to be pretty darn tough. What I've chosen to do is go for my right click. That gives us a little bit of a shield, but as you can see, really doesn't matter here. Too, too much very first ability. Uh, what our right click is, is Light of the Heavens. Gives us a little bit of a barrier and shield here when we go and use it, which should help us mitigate just a little bit of damage here uh, before you know, we, we kind of get pushed too, too much here in this lane. Uh, the other option could have been going for Judgment of the Heavens, which you can use as a kind of long range, throw at your sword and deal some damage and tether the enemy, but I am kind of inclined that your right click might be a little, little bit better. And now that we have our E ability, which is called Gift of the Heavens, we get five uh, life steal um, to all and all allies around us, and we we also get eight percent life steal. So as you can see, these uh, attacks that we are doing does end up giving us a little bit of life back. Now, those two strike tokens are obviously going to help a lot with um, some some of these last hits, but some. Some, maybe a health potion or something else would have been a little bit better, perhaps, um, as we're trying to dodge these. This Bellicator. It's uh, kind of hard here. I'm not overly experienced with um, laning, solo laning with a Kwong, so it's going to be a little bit tough here. We're going to use some abilities here and try to push this lane up as that Bellica did go back. Um, so maybe I should try to do the same here. But it looks like that that Grux is heading over here, so I definitely have to be careful about that. In terms of upgrading, I'm going to go, excuse me, for Light of the Heavens, just because that uh, half point of, of energy damage is actually going to be really, really, or energy and physical armor, I think is actually going to be very effective. Um, we're gonna actually go back and spend our three card power right away, so we can really, really do that. So in this build, we uh, we as you can see, we have a brawler's key just in case we need to jungle. But we're gonna go straight into the brawler's ward first, uh, just because we want that damage. Those wards are gonna be a little bit more, uh, definitely much more useful. And of course, our rampage here is being a good jungler does have his harvester key. And uh, looks like some health and attack speed. Very interesting. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to support the channel, please head on over to my Patreon account to become a monthly um, subscriber or choose to support the channel through my Amazon wish list that way. Uh, very good job on the Bellica. There we go. Get a good amount of damage here. But I'm actually kind of not too worried just because we will simply just be able to um, attack here and regen a little bit of our life. Not too, too much, but will definitely be a possibility here. Let's, um... Uh, okay, so that didn't work out at all. What I wanted to do there was kind of her... The ultimate combination of Kwong which is definitely your Q, your Judgment of Heavens. You can throw and plant your sword for 50 and 50 physical damage. And then and then what happens is 
uh, you can use your ultimate, which is Fur Fury of the Heavens, to teleport to your sword and deal huge AoE. Um, that's kind of like his thing here, where you can hard engage on the enemy, do a whole burst of damage is really quite, uh, quite ridiculous um, when you can get it off. So I'm actually really not too worried about this um, Bellica here, because she has to be careful here. There we go. Ooh, ouchies. And I'm actually not going to use any abilities because she's definitely going, and she definitely has her ultimate, doesn't she? Let's use our ultimate here just to do this. So we get that here. Ooh, she has to be careful. Yeah, and there we go. So wasn't able to win that. Very, very close. Um, she played it very nicely. She, had it, she must have had her ultimate, but not enough mana to do that. So uh, not the best there. I definitely uh, could have definitely done a better job um, against her. Maybe have just gone in a little bit more, a little bit harder there. You have to really kind of commit as a um, as a as, as a Kwong. You really have to make stuff happen. Really commit to it um, in order to kind of get that that full value of his of his abilities. His abilities are either very all in, very kind of you know tether into your ultimate, into your into your uh, light of the heavens, and kind of just kind of all that. So didn't really happen there. All right, I'm very slowly planting a harvester here, and I'm not sure why exactly this uh, Iggy and Scorch is choosing to kind of engage right here, but uh, he has to be careful because my life seal is not to be trifled with, and I think he's kind of realizing here exactly that. Uh, my life steal is very, very good, and he has to be very, very careful. So. Uh, I'm gonna do this just to finish him off. So there you go. You can really 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 um, <laughs> Do quite a bit there as, uh, as you can see I don't have a harvester key uh, the rampage is coming over here. So hopefully he He does he goes there so defend mid lane for sure It's definitely what that uh, rampage needs to do and we need to take this down these these guys very quickly here There we go so Hey, there you go. There's that passive, that lifesteal. Actually doing quite a bit. Uh, the more damage you, you do, the more lifesteal you will. You, or the more health you will get from your passive. So there is some synergy there as well. And we are kind of... I chose to upgrade our Gift of the Heavens there just because uh, it is a fairly significant increase in the amount of health that you get back. Uh, it goes from 6 to, as you can see, it's a 10% that we now have. So it's a fairly significant amount. Um, I chose to do that, and I think that's actually really what saved us there against that Indian Scorch. Really, I'm just kind of wanting to push this lane a little bit hard, so maybe I can get some tower damage, but I don't think... Yeah, no, that's not going to be a possibility here, so I have to be careful for some rotations. Uh, not much I'm going to do. be able to do, so I'm going to say... Enemy has been hmm. Should we go back? The Aegean Scorch is going to be able to do a really good job pushing this lane, so we can't go back and spend Enemy these card power saved. just yet. So I'm very tempted, ladies and gentlemen, to go all in on this uh, Aegean Scorch. He's pushed really, really hard, but I think my opportunity will come if he chooses to get it stay in here. So, um, ooh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Uh, ooh, boy. Don't have any health potions either, and he's just gonna have a really, really, really easy time uh, taking out this tower. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go really, really hard in on him, but he's gonna have his ultimate, so I have to be very, very careful. Let's do this so we can damage those minions just a little bit here. The scorch is so hard to, to deal with, but it looks like I might. We might be able to join this rampage. Looks like my B e is not quite there. We're going to use our ultimate here for a whole bunch of damage. And there's that burst combo that you can really, really do here. Let's tether this Drax, but no, we're not able to go away. Uh, hopefully our rampage there wins. A little skirmish. Let's see if he does. Nope. And they choose to go away. So we're going to go right into the Brawler's Ward. I don't think we really need that Brawler's Key, but our Rampage isn't doing that great of a job with the Harvesters. Um, a Kwong can be a jungler, so there is that. What is the next 
one after this. It's the Wind Carver Blade. Uh, to be honest with you, that's next. I think that's going to be a little bit, a little bit better. It's going to be a little bit better. This will give us a fully upgrade bonus, though. You know what? Let's just go right into it. That's what we're going to have to do here. Do that, and let's actually discard our Strike Token and our Health Token and get that Wind Carver Blade starting or lots of damage here. So we have a Grux here that's kind of... He's, he's back there. He's probably going to go back though because he is very worried. Oh, he does have a health potion though. That's interesting. Uh, we got to be careful here. We don't take too much damage. Like I said, like I have said, we do have a... We do have that lifesteal. Uh, that Rampage is tanking that so we can't go in there. Now, what I kind of want to do here is go in. If he lands that stun, yep, we're going in. There's that tether right into the combo here. There is that nice engage. Uh, that slow, though, working very, very nice, as you can see. And this Iggy is not getting away. So let's see if we can... Where is... I thought I saw somebody else. Uh, and mid lane, I'm going to get this, this lane here. Get that. Very nice. We're gonna actually go keep on going for Gift of the Heavens, just because it's going to synergize very well here with any. Oh, why did I stand in that? That was really stupid of me. So let's see here. We we're gonna tether him in place so we can get out of that. Now we have to be careful. Uh, he definitely has the bonus here, and I'm gonna have to play very defensive. The only way I can probably take him down now is if I get that burst of my ultimate, of our right click, um, and our Q all at once, which we're gonna have to say and probably try to get him inside of our tower, um, try to make something happen for the tower hitting him as well. So let's see if we can do exactly that here. Let's do, oh, ability on cooldown. And I should be over. Maybe? 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 Nope. Nope. So that was... Damn it! One last hit and we could have won! Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm, I'm just really wishy-washy with these engagements. It's really not working out. And um, with, so, with the high amount of damage that we already have in this build, we need to... All in or nothing. It's just to go for it, kill him, or, uh, or don't. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I guess we need last hits here. We do have a nice amount of damage, so look at that. Crazy, crazy 95. Not the most damage we've ever had here, but we can definitely see here. Now this is Twin Blast rotating left. He looks like it. Let's see if we can catch him off guard here. There we go. Let me get some of this. This here, we're gonna use my ultimate. There we go. And tether again in behind him. Make sure to do that. We should be able to get out of this alive. We have an alt or prime. Oh, bullshit! Freaking Gar Garux's pull is so ridiculously messed up in terms of the animation on the ground. Just so, so silly. Um, so silly. Now, three card power here. I don't have enough one point upgrades to make it a 3 2 1, um, and I don't have enough three point upgrades, so I had to go with uh, all of this, which really isn't the most effective right now. So we're going to go two, two, and two, though, because we have six. So works out just fine, anyways. And we have a whole bunch of attack speed, which is going to feed very nicely into the Bounty Stalker. It's not the most mathematically correct. Uh, we need some, a little bit more damage in order to get start getting some attack speed, but with the Bounty Stalker that's coming next, that's actually going to be um, really help us build that build that crit as we're going full on assassin damage. Hopefully it's going to work nicely. He does have a very strong, uh, very fast basic attack, I mean. So it does work actually really quite well. We almost have an engagement here, but... Looks like they aren't quite ready here. There is a little bit of damage. I can use my... Oh, there we go. And that's probably going to secure the kill for us. We can do... 
I'm gonna use my ultimate here to come in, kill him anyways, get a little bit of this, and there is that, uh, you can see a little bit of a burst here. I'm going to try to be a little sneaky as, uh, oh boy, yeah, we definitely need to retreat here, but oh, that might have killed me though. That little bit of, oh, and the pull, there we go. Oh. Oh, great job on that enemy, enemy's rock. Let's see, can we, where's that ultimate Gideon? Where's your ultimate Gideon? Oh, it looks like he doesn't have it. Uh, oh boy. Oh, that was very not favorable for us. Um, maybe shouldn't have secured the kill on that twin blast, but that would be one kill if we didn't. Wouldn't have gotten otherwise. The rampage it looks like he took that opportunity to split push. Whoa, maybe that is maybe uh, a little bit better than you would think here. Is at least we will get a tower out of it for those three stats. All right, let's see here. Oh, we are here in this mid lane. There's a sparrow, though. Let's see if we can. Oh, boy. All right, so let's go in on this twin blast. Let's wait for him to use his this. Oh, totally missed that. Let's do this here. And looks like we probably have to retreat a little bit. Um, let's go and try to body block for our sparrow here. Let's do a ultimate here, so maybe we can slow down this Rux from getting our... And we did just that, so there we go. I'm very happy with that. He should do that. Let's see if I can... Oh, get my lifesteal. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And looks like our Gideon there is taking good care of the... Oh, very nicely done. Yeah. Uh, oh, but... I'm going to have to retreat here, as I don't want to feed them. Any more than we maybe already have, so yep. Gonna have to go back here. Nine car power, we're gonna get the Bounty Stalker, and uh, it has no upgrades. Bounty Stalker in the sixth slot, and Thunder Cleaver is next. Uh, just so we have even more <laughs> attack speed with all the damage that's coming on later, and um, that cleave so we can split push and do more damage in team fights as well so thunder cleaver but after that's a void steel dagger for some pan which maybe we should get now being a little bit inefficient with uh, our points here I do kind of feel like we could certainly get that so you know what let's yeah let's make a little bit of a difference here um, in the build order and go for the void steel dagger at this moment so it looks like the enemy team has a fair amount of uh, of physical armor so we're gonna get a uh, major pierce and a major strike for now uh, maybe finish that off with major pierce and we'll see how much damage exactly or how much armor rather the enemy team is going to have so it looks like our sparrow is getting caught so i might have time to go and save her here um, and then go a left lane to defend that let's see exactly what this pelic is doing nothing all right so she's going mid but she's going left good so I will try to get some other pushing done as we do have black buff. All right, so we have this Velika here that I really want to go in on. So let's, we're going to do exactly that here. We're going to throw this. Oh, there we go, right on her. Let's go in, uh, delete her. Let's use this, our right click for a little bit of armor as we go back and we should be good. We believe we should be good here. There we go. And now that we have absolutely no health, we will have to be very careful. Might be able to jump in there with another burst or use our right click here as a ranged as a ranged ability here. So let's try to do exactly that. Let's throw this out. There we go. Damage that against Scorch. You can see that we do have that long range, little bit of a long range poke with your Judgment of the Heavens and then Light of the Heavens. So I definitely need some help. Ah. And it looks like this is one dead inhibitor. And I'm just going to feed them here if I choose to go in. So... Let's see. Uh, Graystone here. Looks like... I'll have to do this. Try to block him. Doesn't look like much is happening here. Although this Grex is going to... Oh, okay. So... 
I should have just backed off, guys. Really should have just backed off. Uh, now the enemy team definitely gonna have the advantage here. Maybe. Oh boy, let's see. They can't protect their Muriel. Let's see if this Rex dies. He should. Two for two. And three for two. This is kind of difficult to do that. Not the greatest. I'm not too sure this was the appropriate build here for the enemy team. They are so high damage. I should have gone with the Bruiser build that I do have. So it looks like the enemy team actually don't really need more than one Major Pierce. So Major Strike finishes off this Void Steel Dagger. Very high damage build. And uh, definitely without not having that help. Uh, I think that's a core issue here with this build as having a really tough time just living, uh, period, in order to just kind of do our thing. We're just too getting taken down too quickly here. And, uh, yeah, so that's definitely an issue. If we had a stronger front line or this rampage was here with us in these engagements a little bit more, um, I think we'd be able to do our our job, but we're just getting focused too quick and uh, getting really just pummeled. Just, just pummeled. There we go. This high attack speed is going to really help with the bounty stalker on, 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 on these enemies. Really do a high amount of damage on them when we get a good amount of stacks on them from this high attack speed. It should really work quite well. Quite well, we do hope. And there's the defeat, ladies and gentlemen, as the enemy team simply gets our prime and backdoors the core. Very dominant play on the enemy team. Um, hey, they really, really, really played well. Uh, us, not so much here. Five and seven. Definitely a little too squishy. Not the right team composition for it. Well, arguably, maybe a little bit. Uh, being the only two front line, I just have to wait for my rampage to go in and make sure that he does his stuff. Got, got to give some good shields, but the enemy team, too high a damage, way too high a damage. Uh, definitely should have gone for a bruiser build in this video. Let's take a look at the build. Here's the build, ladies and gentlemen, starting with the health potion and two strike tokens. Uh, could definitely very easily here, as you can see, add in a health, uh, a health potion, uh, or sorry, a health token into that early game, or get the vampiric elixir to... to to use that when you are clearing the to clearing the lanes help get maybe a little bit uh, more health back if that you know if you find that that works better that is a option so here's a build ladies and gentlemen starting out with the brawler's war for those wards obviously very very important and the brawler's key that mana is key as you can see once you start using your abilities kind of start running out of it pretty quick so there the brawler's key is because he can be a jungler i mean he is he 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 does work very well in, in lane as well I can't really play him in lane. I just, I don't know. It's, it, it, it's tough. It's tough for me. So that's why this brawler key is in here. I mean, it certainly can can help you with your, you know, acquisition of harvesters. After the ward and the key, go into a wind carver blade here with a whole bunch of dam of um of kinetic. The kinetic is is really only there just for the end game. Once you kind of do all get all that damage from the void so dagger blade of gore and the assassin's warden, etc., etc. So after the wind cover blade, going into the bounty stalker, then into the thunder cleaver, followed by the void steel dagger. For 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 all of your penetration here, you can see all that major pierce, major strike, is uh, is there to ensure that the damage happens um, on at least you know. To get to cut through that base armor that, that people have and any other little bit of the armor that they equipped as well. After the Void Steel Dagger comes the Blade of Agora, because you will have a crazy amount of attack speed if you, <laughs> you probably notice from the Wing Carver Blade and the Thunder um, Cleaver. You're gonna be stacking that stacking that up very, very fast um, and hopefully increase your damage there. I I, don't, I like the idea of Bounty Stalker, so I always try to include it, and I think it is more powerful than people um, and people would think after the bounty or after sorry the blade of agora with all of that damage a ton of it comes the assassin's war that replaces your brawler's ward all of that damage a little bit of pen and a little bit more lifesteal as well it's really quite crazy really uh 
when I did use this before, it's it's a monster. The build is a monster that a little bit more lifesteal here really helps. And just the high damage, it's it's pretty crazy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, share it with the community. Of course, guys, subscribe if you found it, found it useful or simply enjoyed the game. Please subscribe. Till next time, like always, stay optimistic and positive.